Today, I'll be taking these two base drums and turning them into these three shelves, so stick around to see how I made them. This first drum is a Pearl Export that someone modded at some point. I bought it for this project. It was a full kit. I paid $250 for it, and I sold all the hardware for $100. Plus, it came with a Supra, and I have the Rack Tom and Floor Tom to do something with now, so not the worst deal. This next shell I got for free from a friend forever ago. He bought this Yamaha YD kit for like 50 bucks to take some parts off that I needed. Then he gave me the rest and I was able to sell everything but the bass drum. So a shelf will be this shell's new life. This first drum will become two open shelves. So I'm cutting the drum in half. So both are eight inches deep. The outsides are going to be painted so I filled all the big voids in the shells and then plugged all the unneeded hardware holes with dowels and then for the bigger holes I used some plugs that I cut from another shell. And once the glue dried, I cut them down with a hacksaw blade, which easily bends to match the radius of the drum. And of course, I sanded everything smooth. Now for the shelf section, I ripped some plywood to width to match the depth of the drum, and with a scrap piece of wood, I traced the contour of the shell because it's round, and then matched that angle on the miter saw and cut the pieces to length to fit inside of the shell. Also, keep in mind, I'm making two of these, but they're the exact same, so I'm just showing one. So there's the bottom shelf. The top shelf will only be half as deep as the bottom, but I did the exact same thing with tracing the angle and cutting to length to make sure that it fit just right. The only difference was I had to make sure it was parallel to the bottom, so I just used some spacers. Then finally, we need a way to mount this on the wall, so I cut a piece of wood to go in between the two shelves. I just traced the curve, I rough cut it on the miter saw, and then got the final shape on the disc sander. And then to attach it, I just used some pocket screws. And now that I know everything fits perfectly inside, I can yank it out and add some edge banding to clean up the plywood edges and then add a couple coats of poly. Now for the third shelf, this is the fun one. Imagine a bass drum that hinges open and that's what this one will be. So I actually started by scooting the lugs up closer to the edge to maximize the available shelf space. So now onto the table saw, I first cut the door section out just past the end of the lugs. So this piece will be the door or the part that swings open. Then I made a waist cut to get rid of the holes that I don't need and didn't feel like plugging. So this piece is trash. And then I cut out the body or the shelf section. And this will be the part that attaches to the wall. And after that, there's more plugging, more trimming, and more sanding. There's only one shelf on this drum, but it's the exact same process as before. The only difference is there'll be two drawers at the bottom, so I had to add a divider. The drawers are a funky shape and may look kind of hard to make, but it was actually really easy. I just traced the shape of the front and back and then used a piece of the shell for the curved section. Thank you. 
Like I mentioned, this drum is gonna hinge open, so that means we need a hinge, but if we try and put a flat hinge on a round drum, that doesn't really work. So I just cut some more of the shell scraps and sanded the outside flat for the hinge to sit on and glued those in place. For the door section, I wanted something to kind of support the shell and keep it in round. So this is a shot glass holder and this should keep that skinny section of the shell from sagging too much. So now I can take everything apart and start painting. The outside will be this light blue color and the insides of the two open shelves at least will be covered with this contact paper. And the insides of the one with the door I ended up painting darker blue which you'll see later. So with that done I can do the final assembly and screw the shelves in for the last time because I need to fill the screw holes. And of course once that dried I sanded everything smooth and gave it a second coat of paint. But while I was waiting for that to dry, the drawers need handles, so I took two bass drum T-handle tension rods, cut them down, and glued them in place. Oh hey look, the inside of this one is blue now. So I installed the hinge with some nuts and bolts, and then on the opposite side I added a latch to keep it closed, but also to keep everything aligned since there is a bit of play on the hinge. And this head is really ugly, but the guy this is going to has one with his logo on it and should look a lot better than this one. Still use it as a drum too if you want. For the two open shelves, I need to add hoops, but without a head on the shell, gravity wins. So I use some little brackets that mount onto the shell that act as a shelf for the hoop. And I did plan on cutting these shorter, but it turned out that if I enlarge the hole a bit, then the tension rod fit right through it and lines up perfectly. So this project seemed really simple at first and I was really excited about it, but the more I went into it, the harder I had to think and the more progress slowed down and I got more and more frustrated. But I still think these came out really good, especially for the first time making something like this. And I really did learn a lot, which is just as important. So if you want to see these mounted up in their final home, then you can check out Paul's Instagram link down below. And I think I need to make one of these for myself next. 